Let's move on to our top story. It's brought to you by Yellow Dog Brewing, Neighborhood Brewing, Yellow Dog Spirits, and Foolish Winery. Kevin Lankinen's Vancouver Canucks debut. We saw this coming after Archer Shelovs struggled mightily Wednesday in that loss to the Flames. He's played 112 National Hockey League games with the Chicago Blackhawks and Nashville Predators. He's got 45 wins. Now, his career numbers come with a grain of salt because those were not very good Chicago teams he played on, so a 3.07 goals against and a a .905 save percentage. But he's coming off a strong season. He was 11-6 for the Preds last year, 2.82 goals against, 908 save percentage. And early in the season when UC Saros was struggling, Kevin Lankinen got some starts there uh, against a guy who's perennially a Vesna candidate. Uh, we had Kevin Woodley of Ingoal Media on when he was signed a few weeks back, and Kevin's evaluation still ringing in my ears. Kevin thinks he's the next Charlie Lindgren in Washington, the next Connor Ingram in Arizona, now Utah, the next breakout candidate amongst goaltenders who have not yet gotten an opportunity to be a full time starter or even a co starter. Uh, We had Chris Mason on, former Predators goaltender and now Nashville Predators color analyst a couple of weeks back who told us this is a very sort of cerebral, studious guy. He he knows the game. He reads the game. He puts time into knowing his opponents uh, as well as being incredibly grateful uh, that he's able to have this life as a professional athlete and an NHL goalie. So quite interested to see. Uh, Kevin Lankinen, uh, the other thing we should note here, Rick Tockett has praise. He's gone on and on in preseason and talking about how well Lankinen handles the puck and how he thinks that's a big asset potentially to their breakouts. Yeah, it, it's a uh, it's a day that we thought maybe could be postponed two or three games in. For, like if Shilov only gives up four, I think we've got a bit and of a you debate. you win the game? And, and you win the game. Like, if that game ends up 4-3, can I still don't finish well, but they hold on by their fingertips and they win the game 4-3. Does Shelos play tonight? I think Shelos might play tonight. Yeah, I don't think so. And and, yeah? and here's why. Uh, I, just the way Tockett has characterized it in preseason, I think it's more a 1A, 1B than it is a number one oh, and a sure. number two. Yeah. Secondly, because the schedule is so sparse here in the early going, uh, they don't play again until Tuesday in Tampa. And you don't want Lincoln sitting on That's his hands. It. That's there's, it. There's that for so sure. I, I think getting him a game. And the other reason I say that, Blake, is I think that's reflected in the other changes that we're going to see tonight, that Pew Suter is back and playing for Nils Oman, not Atu Ratu, and that Noah Juleson gets in for Vincent Deharnay, although that could very well be performance-related. So Ratu remains in the lineup. Still no Archdeep Baines. He was recalled from Abbotsford. Uh, Talkative is amused about getting him in, but alas, uh, no, not tonight at least. 